Uh, my name is Kevin Kimberly. I own Kimberly Ag Consulting and we do consulting in eight different states. We work with tillage, strip till, no till, everything. But I'm a big strip till fan and that's why I'm here today because I have over half my clients doing strip till. And we've done troubleshooting on it for 20 years. And uh, what we're looking at today, just for instance, you can do this to lots of bars. But what we found for a good design for most of our guys is we're running a trice wheel out front. When I look at a trice wheel out front, I look for the widest it can cover to move the trash. Another thing we would do, we, for instance, we have a turbo coulter on here right now. We like to run this coulter as deep as a knife. So the knife flows through the soil, but we may have to put a ripple coulter on it or a straight coulter. We let the soil tell us what we need to do. We come back here, uh, we did this back in 1998 and 2000. We had trouble with blowing out chunks. So what we did is we put on a twin colder mechanism and we used to have to slide it on the bar. And this new colder design that uh, Waco came up with is you pull this pin right here, you twist the colder in, repin it right here and you move these in or out where you want them. So you adjust these for your soil conditions. The big thing everybody misses, I let the soil tell me what I want it to do. Everybody will try to use something that won't work. Then we come behind here and our closers, I like a 13 wave colder because it won't cut into the dirt is deep. The curve keeps it out of the ground and as it's running, it helps fracture my soil and build a berm. The next thing I do is I change knives. Whatever the soil's like, we run a different knife to show what it does. So when I check this here, these are my tools. A spade, so once I make a strip, I shove this down the strip, this would be in the strip, then I would dig this out and what I'm looking for is when I pull the spade out, I don't want any holes in the bottom. I don't want any holes or clods up here. I want this soil structure to all be the same. That's the key with three coulters. The knife fly flows through it instead of blows it. The, the hard pan, we dig a hole. And what we do is when we, we dig a hole with a shovel and we use a buck knife, and I always like one that's very tapered, and I pull it up to fill the hard pan. And what we like to do is get that hard pan out so our water will go down and our crown roots will go down for water. Last year, we used an inline ripper on about 10 of our clients, and the inline rippers we like are a three-quarter inch shank, and we call them inline rippers so all the shanks would be in line, but the real key is we offset them 12 to 16 inches because we don't want to blow the soil apart, we want to work a zone so our roots and water and our nutrients all go down that zone.